Today, we are diving straight into Al Corcon. This team sucks. I'm sorry, that was mean. As we speak, they are 22nd in the second division of Spain with only 21 points guaranteed to go down and not exist in FIFA 23. The beauty of rebuilding a team like this is we get to use some players we have never used before and discover some talents we have not known of yet. And then you realize, oh wait, this is a poor man road to glory. 1.6 million. What am I supposed to do with that? Just stick it with the sun, don't you? <laughs> Looking into the youth academy. Oh yes, baby. What a banger to start off. Pinto, 85 dribbling. Oh my God, 82 to 94 potential. Let's go. This guy is gonna lead the line. Francisco Pinto, I'm saying it right now. At the end of this video, he is going to lift that Champions League trophy. I said it, I'm not selling him this time. A lot of times I sell my youngsters, not this time. Wow, this squad is old, bro. 36 years old, 36 years old. All of you, get out of this club. It's time for a rebuild. And here we go, the fire sale has begun. Accept it, accept it, accept it. Goodbye, guys, have fun in retirement. You're mean. As you guys do know, I like to keep one player from the original team until the end of this. And the player that I'm going to try and build up is going to be Castro. He was on loan to Celta Vigo. He called him back home immediately. Bro, I just renewed like 80 contracts. Why is everyone's contracts running out? Nobody likes you. You see that guy up there? He has no face. Yeah, but he's talented. Marco Lazetic. For the first time, I'm going to try him out under 19 national team player for serbia and has just gone ahead and joined ac milan he could be the next big thing so for that reason i brought him in he's gonna be our striker for this season and hopefully a long time into the future as well when people think of dortmund's wonder kids i'm assuming they're thinking about jackie chan especially the striker talent mukoko of course you have haaland but that one is already too mainstream and right after him it's mukoko right I've gone for another one that I'm going to turn into a beast. Abdullaya Kamara, 16 years old. 16, bro. This guy is going to be goated for us. Starts off at the 59 rating. I get it. It's not much, but trust me, we're going to get him there. I want my goalkeeper to be this man, Ruslan Nesheret from Ukraine. Much love. And here we go. He's coming into our team. And we're going to put him in there to be the main guy for years to come. Rivero is only a loaned-in goalkeeper. And then, where is he? There he is. 65 rated. Guys, that is the final deal. It is Nesheret, Lazetic, Kamara, Scalvini. The man who's tiny, but also a giant. That is the lineup we're going to go with for the rest of the season. I'm very excited about this. Let's see how season one goes. After, sadly, the release clause is once again coming in and pissing me off in spain every time every career mod i do in spain they just take away my players without me realizing arribas is gone and virgin is here now virginius is here in the team now he's taking over the right midfield position calero get out of here bro you're not supposed to be playing there he comes in at a 67 rating the money that i got for that other kid we have reinvested into this man right here who has a beautiful haircut and a perfectly formed house amounts of pace right Yes, that's what I like. Pace, that's all it takes in FIFA, right? It doesn't take any skill, just pace. The first season is over and guess what? We're not the worst team in Spain anymore. We are only the second worst team in Spain. Alcorcon is the team now that is on 38 points. I gotta say, man, the team sucks. <laughs> it really well and truly does. The teams that are going up are Eibar, Almeria, and then possibly one of the third to sixth positioned teams. Now, when it comes to the boys that we have brought in, Lazetic up to a 68, Camara 62, Scalvini 65, and Nesheret up to a 60. And then the new man in the right midfield up to a 68. While when we look at the top performers in the first season, we are looking at two players that have been on loan and are going to leave the team. Yes, absolutely pointless waste of games given to these guys. They're going to leave us and then we're going to have to reinvest 
Cool. At least the bad thing is, uh, not at least, the bad thing is that Ape took away game time from Lazatic. So, um, yeah, good thing is Lazatic in the little amount of games he played actually scored. So uh, I hope to see, see him continue grow in the next season. Ape and Mula, get out of here. Uh, you know what? The beauty of a new season is that we have a 12th million budget. Now, it doesn't make any sense. I would love to know why that happened because we just went from 1.6 to 12 million for coming second last. What's that about? So where did I spend all that money? I spent it on the left side of our team and bringing in Abraham, a uh, Swedish striker that can play on the wings as well. So turn him into a left wing. Campos coming in as a left back, spent 3 million plus a player on him and Mishu. Coming in from PSG. Yes, he's coming in from a big club into our team. And a new right back has joined in. And his name is Lagos. So Campos and Lagos on the fullbacks. And the new man on the left wing spot. Abraham takes over there. Hopefully he's going to be a big one for us. And in that middle, we have Michu, the little man. He, he looks very small. 5 foot 10. Well, it actually isn't that small. This guy surely should not be 6 foot 4. I refuse to believe it. Anyways... That is the team for season two. Hopefully it goes a little bit better. Maybe we can come third last. That'd be nice. We are in the playoffs. Promotion. I'm not joking. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm not joking. Guys, this team somehow went from second to last place to now fighting for promotion. And it might genuinely just be down to the fact that the wingers have been growing insanely quickly. And also Lazatic and Pinto. I should make Pinto the captain. He is obviously the main man for me. He is from the Youth Academy, the leader of this squad, who I'm hoping is going to do well. Now, in the playoffs, can I be honest with you? I hope we lose. I don't want to go up yet. I really Yes. Let's go. All right. That's more like it. Now, you might be like, what What the hell? Dude, you don't want to go up into the league, La Liga? You don't want to play against Real Madrid and Barcelona? No, <laughs> my players are not ready, man. I need to have an insanely dominant season. We only came in fifth this season, which is fine. It's, a, it's great progress. Don't get me wrong. But I want to be dominating the hell out of the second division in Spain before I actually move up into La Liga and fight against some of the biggest talents out there. I'm not ready for that yet. And if you believe so, I can't help you. Also, performance, performance, 18 goals. And the new man, Abraham or Abraham, is the main man. And Campos, left back. Mate, calm down. Plus nine. Uh, plus nine. Yeah, we're becoming German now. Uh, plus nine on his rating. 15 and six from left back. He's nuts. Oh, I just remembered last season. The reason why we had that much money probably was because of the preseason tournament. But anyways, I'm not too sure on that. 24 million going into this season, guys. That, my friends, is a budget that can easily take a lot of spots in our team to the next level. Question is, where do we spend it? The most obvious choice would be Kamara. A lot of people would be like, oh, Johnny, this guy's way too low rated. Take him to the next level. Like, bring in someone else. And like loan him out or something. No. This kid was 16 when he joined. You gotta show him some trust. But I might bring someone in. No, I, I don't know. There are things we can do. I haven't decided yet what that's gonna be though. I'll be quite honest with you. I've gone ahead and spent my money. So this mini man who's six foot four actually goes down to the bench. Sadly, he hasn't performed the way we expected him to. Didn't get past that 70. The guy who was on the bench was actually 70 rated as well. So Salvini is now a backup from now on. And the main man to take over is Sutalo. This guy is an incredible player. In real life, he's having great performances for Dinamo Zagreb. And he has become a mainstay in that team. And very, very talented. So I'm very excited to have him in the squad. Also, instead of bringing in a new midfielder to replace Kamara, I've actually gone ahead and brought in some competition. Yes, normally I don't do this, but I have brought in some competition for the goalkeeper spot. Both 72 rated. Gota, who is an Ajax talent, up against Nesheret. Whoever wins the battle keeps that position in the next season. So we'll see what the simulation decides, who's going to play, because I think both of them are actually in the crucial first team player category. So I think it comes down to whoever grows fastest keeps the position. Let's see.
what this season brings. Would you look at that? Without me actually knowing, Scalvini submitted a transfer request. I see you. Good thing I re replaced you, pal, because you're obviously lying about your height. And this is what I expected. We got second place with 86 points. Now, we didn't dominate the division like Cadiz did. Cadiz these nuts. That's probably not how you say it. Cadiz nuts. That's how I should have said it. Man, I ruined everything there. Alcorcon with the 86 points. That is us, my friends. Really, really well, uh, uh, well done by the team. Eight losses, which is a lot compared to the rest of the top four. But who cares, bro? We're going up because the first and second places get promotion. And the team itself... Ah, oh, come on. Uh, hopefully he had a good season and hopefully dynamic potential is going to go his way. Pinto 87. My God. Abraham up to an 82. Campos 87. Bro, I'm not even training him like left back to right back. This is crazy stuff. Castro really well done. He's an original of the squad, of course. Sutalo doing well. Gota 77. Neshede 73. So Gota has put himself through as the main goalkeeper. And Lazetic up to an 80, uh, 78. The main man in the squad, who was it? It was, of course, Lazetic. Ibrahim, though, well done. He has gotten more goal contributions. How about Kamara? 32 games played, one goal, one assist. Nice. Look, I know, I know. I said I want to build up Kamara, but he just didn't do it. Like, what am I supposed to do? At this point, I feel like... I just let down my own child, you know? That, that's how I feel. Medina is coming into the team. He takes over that center midfield position. I'm sorry, Kamara. I tried. I really did, bro. You're going to be a backup now. Hey, if we get into the Champions League final, I promise I will sub you in. Deal? I hope that's a deal. Now let's put in the new man. He takes over as a right center midfielder as Michu becomes a left center midfielder as well. So that is the man. Now covers that center midfield spot. Other than that, I'm not interested in spending more money. So this season ends and we lose against Real Madrid. So that kind of shows us how good we are. But we are 11th, my friends. 55 points. Look at us. First season, second to last in the uh, second division. And here we are. A La Liga team competing to get, uh, to get into the top 10. To get? What the hell was that? Anyways, uh, we currently are looking at a team with a 91-rated Pinto, with an 87-rated Abraham, and then Campos, 91. Bro, I don't know how he does it. I honestly do not know. How does this guy pull it off? What did he say? Like, okay, now he's basically done. 107 weeks. We'll see, though. Next season, his dynamic potential might pick up again. Uh, in terms of financials, look at this. 176 million in value for Pinto. In terms of performance, they're genius. There you go. The man is back on form. I like that. But Lazatic, you got to step it up, pal. 12 goals and three assists. But then again, it's our first season in, in the top division. Can't blame the young lads. We'll give him his chance continuously. And how did Kamara do actually on the bench? 72 rated. Yeah. This guy just ain't pulling off, is he? New season, new oil money. <laughs> we have 60 million, my friends. That is going to be some money to spend. Question is, as always, where do we spend it? And do we actually spend it at all? All right, so I brought myself to go ahead and get rid of one of the players in January now. It is Gonzalez coming into the team. Medina has left the squad in a swap deal because I didn't have enough money otherwise. So I gave my faith to Michu, who has proven himself over a longer time period. Medina was all right, but Gonzalez is the man. Look at those stats, bro. It's disgusting. May 2026. I'm seeing wins against some big clubs right here, boys. We're fourth. We're four. We're four. Champions League football. Oh, yes. Come on. Second season in La Liga. And it is looking spicy, my friends. Real Madrid on 85. We are on 75. Well, this rebuild has turned upside down. Look at that now. Lazetic 82. Pinto 93. Campos 91. Abraham up to a 90 as well. And then we have Lagos on the 80. Probably need to upgrade the right back, you know. I didn't really pay attention to that one. He's like kind of out of sight, out of mind. So next season, definitely going to bring in a new right back into the team. That is a decision I've made just now. Come on up to a 74. So maybe he finally actually becomes a decent player. Virginius, 15 goals. Lazatic, 15 as well. Hey, some of these lads are doing great things. Hey man, this money keeps piling up. 125 million for the new season, my friends. You know what I'm going to do. Look, 
I could have gone for a big man, but no. I went for someone I've never used before. Vanderson. Yeah, doesn't have a face, but plays for AS Monaco. So it's not one of them Brazilians that is from the Brazilian league that actually isn't a real person because I think it is not licensed over there, right? Anderson comes in 82 rated, great stats, only 20, 25 years old at this stage. I have faith. I think. <laughs> I don't know. But generally speaking, I just want this team to succeed. I mean, us qualifying for European football is already nuts. So the European football only lasted until we played against Barcelona in it. In the quarterfinals, they beat us. It's fine. No, it's fine. And in the league, we re-qualified for Champions League football by getting 68 points. But it's the fourth position again. So not necessarily improving here. I think last season we had 75 points. So it's not, not a good sign. It, it really isn't. But looking at the players, it is littered with good signs. Lazetic, 86. We now have Pinto on a 95. We have Virginius on an 87. Vanderson coming in, getting a plus two. Sutalo up to an 85. Castro. An original of the squad that I really want to lift that trophy by the end of this. I'm going to take the captaincy away from Pinto and give it to Castro, to be honest with you. Because he's an original, so we'll see how that goes. But he, he should be doing better with dynamic potential, especially since we are successful. Campos on a 92, Gota up to an 86. So if we can get this defense higher rated in the next season, get this guy to an 86, him to an 87, him at least to an 85, and him to maybe an 88... This next season might be big because a bunch more players could reach that 90. Gonzalez could get there. Virginius could get there. I'm excited. And at the same time, if we look at the performance right now, guys, we look at Lazetic, who has led the line. That is something I love seeing. I had 200 million to spend. Yes, I was rich, bruh. And I didn't spend it because now you see us in the Champions League semi-final against Manchester United, losing by only one goal. So this project is working exactly how I wanted it to. And, oh my God, we won the league. We won the league. The best team in Spain. Come on. Yes. That's beautiful. 95 points, only one loss. And that tells me something happened. Yes. Come on, man. Look at that. Gonzalez, 90. Virginius didn't reach the 90 as I expected. That's fine. Vanderson up to the 87. Sutalo, 87. Castro, yes. Come on. Not 86 rated right now. Gota up to an 88, not necessarily 89. I think I wanted it to get an 89. Come on, 76 rated. We have a non-existent bench, really. I should really bring in some players for the bench. That's the next thing I'm going to do. I'll show you in a bit. But now, let's take a look at the stats. We see an insane season. <laughs> an incredible season. Four players stand out. Lazetic, Abraham, Pinto, Virginius. That's all I can do. Three players signed. I mean, Adli, backup striker, Moriba, backup center mid, and also uh, Mingueza for the center back position. There you go. That was the s I wanted to say. We got a pat AS Monaco. Pat passed AS Monaco. And now we're getting past PSG. There it is, my friends. Barcelona in the final. They beat us last time. Did we manage to beat them not only in the Champions League? Or, I mean, we haven't yet beaten them but did we manage to beat them in the league yes we did Alcorcon that is it my friends the worst team in Spain is officially the best team in Spain but are we the best team in Europe that question will be answered as these absolute legends step onto the pitch as I said Pinto you were my captain up until now but an original of the squad has to lift the trophy for me Lazetic, 91, Serbian under-19 national team player in there. Kamara up to a 78. You know exactly I'm going to be subbing that guy on. But we are looking at a very, very strong team right here, which I am proud to have put together because a lot of these guys didn't necessarily have those super high highs. And that is what I love about FIFA 22 career mode, man. And I've seen you guys in the comments. I've seen you say this so many times that you enjoy the fact that I try to use different players in every single video. 
and try to come up with players that you might have not heard of and then you then go ahead and use them in your career modes as well so i really really do appreciate your comments as always guys let me know in the comments down below what rebuild we should be doing next now though it is time to check out the individual stats and then hop into the gameplay which actually will be happening tomorrow morning right now it is 12 a.m my place and my neighbors might hate me lazatic 32 goals four assists pinto 27 and 12 abraham 19 and 15 gonzalez did well virginius did well I'm excited to play this. I'm very excited about it. Day two of me recording this rebuild is here. It's time to jump into the Alcorcón against Barcelona Champions League final. It is time. And funnily enough, as you're watching this video, if you're watching it on the day it's uploaded, I am actually watching the game between Eintracht Frankfurt and Barcelona live in the stadium. I cannot wait to see some of these new Barca kids and uh, see their talent live. Now, talking about talents, we also got to talk about ours. That's a good run made by our striker. Lazetic seems to be a tall lad here. Pinto, the youth academy beast. Pinto, ah, he does get stopped initially. At least we're seeing the young man lead the line a little bit. Come on, Campos. Let's go. Campos, great tackle. Abraham plays it through. Lazetic. Abraham, go on, go on, go on, score on your own. Oh, that's bad. Gonzalez, Virginius, look at that pace. Come on, son. Whoop, 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 I'm Gangnam style. That's what I should be saying. Pass it, pass it. Go on, then. This is football, my friends. This is football. This is Sparta. Abraham or uh, Abraham? What the hell? Abraham, Abraham, whatever, dude. I just can't get over how to pronounce his name. He's Swedish. I don't know. Who cares? He scores a banger into the top left corner. The Swedish man turned left wing instead of striker. Gets us the first goal in a Champions League final. Barcelona standing off too far from him. He takes his space. And you know what? That is not an easy finish. Near post against Testegen. I've failed many times before. Let's go. Let's go. Abraham, switch it up. Can you find the man? Virginius. That's a great ball. Virginius. What the hell was that, bro? <laughs> what was that about? I don't know what he tried to do, but he's going to get the ball back. Lazetic, I need you in the middle. Lazetic. Lazetic. I want you to score a header because I feel like it's the right thing for you to do. How, how important is it for you guys to like watch a football game and like hear the fans? Like for me, it's so important for the atmosphere like to be popping. When, when the atmosphere in the stadium is not popping, I get bored. <laughs> is it just me? Go on then. Look at that. Pinto. Sees the run of Lazetic. Lazetic, come on, lad. No one knows you. Let them know you. Why are you not scoring that? Uh, that's a good ball over the top. Ansu Fati against my Croatian beast. Sutalo, look at that. Sutalo. I told people about you, man. I told them you're a big talent. I told them you're doing well at Zagreb. And he's going ahead and getting us into this attack right now. Pinto has his teammate next to him. He's going to be like, nope, I'm going to do this by myself. Pinto. Pinto! From the first moment on when we saw him, I told you he's gonna be in the Champions League final at some point. And he scores right here. Our center attacking midfielder had his teammate ne next to him. I decided his pace was good enough. I told you FIFA is all about pace. And he goes ahead and scores this beautiful goal. Let's go, Pinto! 2-0 up against Barcelona. The Spanish worst team is now beating one of the best best teams in Spanish history. This is uh, quite a beautiful story. Look at that little man winning the header. Love that. Whoop. Oh, the turns, the twists. The twists of faith. Go on, Michu. Go on, Michu. Oh, you love to see it. Bang. And then on the... <laughs> For one second, I thought it was in a Joga Bonito commercial. Silamans subbed on for Barcelona. Interesting little sub. Oh, they have the ball inside the box. Got to be careful here with Ansu Fati. This is a dangerous spot to be in. De Jong, and that is my goalkeeper. Let's go, buddy. Gota gets it done. Go on. Run, run, 
Run, Vanderson. Get away from him. Yes, Vanderson. Keep running. Keep running, Vanderson. Am I going to do this with you? I'm going to do it with him. Bang. Bang. Oh, no. I. You know what? That was very selfish. That's one of them moves where after the game, the coach talks to you. And he really just wants to smack you across the head rather than talk to you. I see a runner. Oh, didn't get that runner. Good header. I see another runner. Wow, that is an incredible pass into Lazetic. Lazetic, bro, you need to step up, man. I'm trying to showcase unknown talents, and that's what you're doing. Give me that, bro. One thing I need to point out, the original of this team, the captain, is actually nuts at defending. Mitru, what a ball. And here we go. Let's freaking go. No, I wanted to outskill both the defender and the goalkeeper. That would have been a beautiful moment. But yeah, talking about the, the center back, Castro. My God, he's a tank, dude. He feels like Sule. Here goes Pinto. Sees the run of Lazetic. Can he find him? It's a beautiful ball over the top. Can Lazetic finally prove himself? No, no, he can't. Man, that's a, that's a weak finish. Ooh, that was some nice slide tackling there. And here goes the counter attack, Pinto. Pinto. Let's go, Pinto. You surely have more pace than that guy. The pass inside. The pass over to Lazetic. I'm kind of fo forcing it right now. Wopa. Wopa. And that's... Yeah. Don't know about that one, pal. Anyways, guys. This should be it. We should be winning the Champions League trophy right here. Right now. With this rebuild of the worst team in Spain. It now is the best team in Spain and also the best team in Europe. Let's see our captain Castro, the original, lift that trophy. Here he comes, El Capitan, to lift the, 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 the trophy. And <laughs> we have it right there. Enerieti. That's an interesting, uh, <laughs> interesting sponsor. I just saw that now. Hopefully... By the time next season comes around, these boys will have better kits because they look very cheap. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. As always, these rebuilds are so much fun to record. And hopefully, the kind of new format that we're doing with the bit shorter videos is something that you guys enjoy. If you do, let me know in the comments down below. And also, of course, subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care and peace.